hello friends welcome to csop space today in this video session we will discuss about how to use a parcel view in sp.net core mvc so let's start here i open a my, my visual studio and here i already create a blank project uh, for sp.net core applications with a mvc framework so uh this is all the defaults controllers models and views so first of all i am going to this controller and here uh, we create a one parcel view for uh, displaying any view like uh, we choose a about here so first of all we need to add a parcel view so i am adding a parcel view to this shared folder so it is accessible by all the controllers so i am adding this it's a new item and uh, create a one parcel view like uh, choose this mbc view page and here we choose a address like uh, we choose a address parcel address parcel this uh, uh, name has a uh, underscore address parcel then click on add now uh, this adding a view for a address parcel so we remove this here uh, we display a, a address of for uh, address model so first of all i am adding a one more model it's like a address it's address dot cs now we add some sample properties for this it's, a, it's like a country and state city and one for pin state and then for city and this for pin code now uh, i am going to this controller uh, we want to show a parcel view on this about section so i am calling this model is like a address ad is equal to new address we adding some uh, sample sample data is ad dot uh, country like uh, it's country country name country name like uh, india and then it's a state like uh, delhi and uh, it's a city city like any city name it's like a uh, new delhi and we adding uh, one pin code any pin code now we uh, return this uh, this class to the view here uh, you can uh, return any uh, classes like uh, you can also use a list uh, for sample i'm using only a class here so now we need to add a a parcel tag on this about section here uh, we add a parcel you like i'm adding this view inside uh, this is a parcel and then writing a name parcel and then writing a name uh, we our uh, parcel you name we, uh, here we 
adding all the url and if this will be present in a shared folder then no need to write a complete url here uh, i am using only this name it's a uh, address parcel and then it's a model model power model is now model uh, it's the address then we pass this model inside this model section now we access uh, these models on uh, parcel view our parcel is present here it's like a model address mm, i'm adding a on div then uh, it's like a label label first name is country and then adding one span then it's a model dot country name and adding one br tag for changing the line country send second is a state and here we also change the heading and this is the city and this for pin code now we uh, run this application so i'm pressing a control f5 for debugging this application now this uh, debugging now it's a uh, by default calling a home index method now this uh, application is done by default this calling a home index method i am adding a parcel view on this uh, about action method so this this data crumb from a parcel view that we are calling here so uh, if you want to uh, access data from a view data or view back so we need to change some model here it's a view data then we provide here a view data name it's a view data and we provide this view data and view bag value from here so view data it's like a masses like a masses from view data and then we am also using this view bag it's a view bag is masses from from view bag now we call this uh, view data and view bag on this address method it's a two and we call this uh, view data to here and one more view for view back message view back message here i'm pasting this here now uh, we also call a value for from a view data and view back now we again build this application After this, we uh, access the data from view data and view back design. This is working because this related to, to a same dictionary means uh, view data and view back is uh, related with this view data dictionary. So we can uh, use both view back and view data. Now we click on this uh, about method. This is the message from view back and 
uh, view data is calling for both is a view back I'm going to here in this showing uh, same name is a view back view back because uh, due to this uh, same same keys like uh, here we change this like uh, it's a data so then it will be showing a different message we go to our the parcel view and changing this here now again build this application so now uh, this will display a different different message for a view data and view back now build succeeded so again refresh this page so now this uh, will display a different message for a view data and this message from a view back uh, for more information you can also visit a microsoft sites i already copied here so i paste this 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 uh, link provide a complete information uh, for a parcel tag helper in sp.net core i also provide uh, this link in the de description of this video so this will show a complete description for like a name this for for attributes that you using a for a model and this for a model name and this for view data so it will uh, be very helpful for uh, a study about a parser view in sp.net core we can uh, also call a parser view from a, a different method like a uh, await a parcel asyncs and this is several render parcels it's a parcel and html dot render parcel this is the different uh, options that by which we can call a parcel view so this is the complete process for uh, how to use a parcel view in asp.net code so if you have any questions any problems please write in the comment box i will reply you soon so for getting a latest updates also click on a notification bell so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session